Okay, I'd really like to round it out with this thing here, which is the collect it. Now, I don't think this periodical's been around for long, but what it is is somebody's got this great idea of educating us as to what's hot right now and what's hot and what's not. And this is a great publication. It tells you what to collect, who's collecting it. Let me show you some of the cool stuff in here. And also, look at these comic books. I didn't even do comic books, but let me tell you a comic book story. It's incredible. I bought this old collection of Batman comic books. They call them Golden. They're from the 40s. So I had, the, so I had like a few of them. They didn't, have the, they didn't have the covers on them. They can't tell on the old ones what numbers they are because their own numbers were only on the cover. They weren't in the bottom like the, new one, the newer comic books. So I look at it. His friend comes over. He says, I think that's Batman number one. I said, no way. It didn't have a cover, right? I said, there is no way that's Batman. He says, yeah, it is. Because in Batman number one, here's the story. It's the introduction to the Joker, the introduction to Catwoman. This is Batman number one. So check it out, okay? So I look up Batman number one with a cover. Guess how much it sold for at auction in mint condition? Okay, go ahead. $185,000. Did mine have the cover? No. But put mine on eBay without a cover? I got $1,672 without a cover. How cool is that? But anyway, you know, the reason I showed you all these periodicals is because in the back of them especially, and else also the articles about the collectors, they give great contact points and resources for how you can value your items, how you can find people to buy and market your items. And these are probably the best way to do that or through the Internet. But this is a way that you have a document with you. You always have it for ready reference. This has just been... A wonderful time with references, and I would like to tell you that I am Jan, and this has been really special. And remember, if you're collecting and living little or living large, you can collect anything. And there's someone to buy everything, even a squirrel, a squirrel or an avocado lamp. <laughs>